you know, 25, you know, I, I, I figured out probably a way not to get on the, the side of the referees to challenge a call 15 seconds into a meet. Um, so probably won't do that next time. But I, I thought that he held him there for three seconds, and that's a big situation, um, you know, for Schwarm to be able to get on top right away. Um, so challenged it. Didn't happen. Um, you put that guy in some almost tough positions. Uh, dude, that guy's having a really good year right now, undefeated. Um, and, and he's beat pretty pretty much everyone handily. Um, but the thing I'll say about Schwarm, and I said it before, um, he's only getting better, you know. I think he's getting stronger, and that's kind of the big thing that, that I think maybe lacked a little bit earlier in the year, some of that horsepower um, that he had last year. He's getting that back. And, you know, when you have an injury in the off season, it takes a little bit longer than maybe you wanted to to, to, to round back to where you want to. Um, but he's getting there. Uh, 33, hit an unbelievable attack, and really actually had three really, really good attacks against that guy. That guy's hard to get to his legs. Um, you know, finished one, the other two, he was in deep. Um, so he gave himself some opportunities, got to be able to get off bottom 41, you know, found a way again. The thing I like about Elber is he went for a big move early. And you know what, I love that he's willing to risk that. A lot of guys won't, won't take a chance in those situations. They just, you know, I've got to hold it really tight to the vest, but he thought he had a position tight and he went for it and ended up giving him a score there, but got to take, got to, got to escape back. Um, you know, and got a takedown down the match, and he had four or five attacks before he finally got to one. And, you know, great job by him. Max just keep wrestling. Thought he wrestled a great match until the last 20 seconds. And, you know, he kind of saw, saw this come where we tall alligator arms a little bit. If those alligator arms come back, then he's trying to hold off. He's just got to go back to his default needs to be attack. Um, like, he did, like he did really the whole match up until that point. Um, you know, and then you, you know, then you, you know, you go get it in overtime. But uh, Max is in a good place. I like how he's competing. Um, he's he's starting to round into where you're like, man, this this guy, this guy's, man, he's getting there. He's getting there, even though it's a loss. And I know some people are, well, he just lost a match. I don't care, man. A lot, sometimes a loss now is a win later. Just be depending on how you take it, um, and how he's taking it is the right way. And if anything, I think he's he's more encouraged and understands where he's at, how, how close he is just, man, sometimes you can't let off the gas. I mean, keep on that gas pedal. Keep on the gas pedal. That's all, that's all we talked about all year. Keep on the gas pedal. And he's got to stay on it. If he stays on it, then he, he, can, he can win that weight class. Uh, 57, just get taken down right away, and then you get ridden. Makes it really hard. Got to be able to uh, create some offense. Um, and he's going to get better every time out. 65, got to be able to get off the bottom. We talked about it. Um, Thing came out road. I mean, he's riding guys hard, uh, wrestling well. Luhan, that's a good, that's a really good win for him. Um, really, really good win. Joe's a, Joe's a good wrestler, a couple time All American. You know, we had two guys beat two time, two two time All Americans, um, which is good. The thing that he did is always he stayed disciplined throughout that match. Um, stayed disciplined with his elbows. So you know, if there's a game plan, he can go out and execute it. And he went out and executed. He 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 took space really well. He hand fought really well. And then, you know, was able to convert a takedown late in that match. Um, so, you know, great job. Great job by Lujan. Uh, big win for him to continue to build. Foster just got a little panicked, I think. You know, hit a couple longer attacks. And was that, he was all over that guy. Um, you just got to convert a few. You know, the guy was able to kick out a few positions, which, you know, one position, one, one score here is, a, you know, is different in the match. But I'll give that kid uh, some credit, man. He's... He's hard to score on. Incredibly athletic and dangerous in a lot of situations, but uh, Foster just get a little bit closer on his attacks. Um, 97, I thought Terrell is great coming out and going and getting an attack right away, putting the guy down. Uh, Got to be able to get off the bottom. And that's, you know, a freshman as a freshman. It's hard, man. I, I can tell you I've been there. I've been there trying to get off the bottom. And it's a lot of times it's right here. There's some technical things with him, but the thing was is, you know, you saw him put a good guy down. And then you saw him be in that match. And then late in the match, he really, he really put some heat on him and was able to get to his leg again. Just got to be able to do that a little bit earlier. But the growth is happening. That's, and I'm going to continue to hammer. And I know I've said it before, but this is about, this is about growth. This is about improving. This is about getting better. This is using these opportunities to, to continue to learn from and be better when he gets to the Big 12 tournament. Uh, it's, you know, it's a deep weight class in the Big 12. And then heavyweight, heavyweight, Went out and competed. Um, you know, there was there was probably two instances in this. You know, maybe we gave we gave an easy score maybe two or three times throughout the whole the whole uh, 
duel, and that was one thing we talked about is wrestling, wrestling with courage and hustle and fight and for 420 seconds. And, you know, in a lot of those matches, we had to wrestle 420 seconds to win the match. And there's a few of them that we didn't wrestle quite 420 seconds. And, and you know what, they, they found a way to win those matches. So can, it's going to continue to be figuring out a way to wrestle every second of that match and take advantage of the opportunity that we have. And then if you don't take advantage of it, then go give yourself another opportunity. But um, like where our team's at, certainly would like to come away from that duel with a victory instead of, you know, dang, we're close because um, it's time to push yourself over the edge. It's time to knock the wall down. It's just, it's just time. It's just time. Time's running. And there's no need, there's no need for these guys to wait anymore. Um, and that's kind of what they talked about a little bit. And as a team, they're talking about, and that's what I want to hear. And that's great.